Hello. Uh, here's a quick video on how to get a Mac Pro working with two triple head to goes. Uh, so you can have a maximum of six displays coming out of the triple head to goes, um, plus maybe one or two other displays coming out of the Mac. Personally, I have, uh, let's see, I have six displays total right now, but as you can see, these triple head to goes have two empty spots and uh, I could put more displays in there, could, could put more displays over in the uh, trash can Mac over here. And, um, and what you have to do to get these things working is you have to uh, set them up one at a time. I'm not going to do it right now, but I would recommend that when you're getting started, unplug the USB of one of them uh, just to make sure it's powered off. Uh, keep the other one plugged in. And then what you do is you get the Matrox PowerDesk software. Um, you can see up here, there's the little symbol for it. Um, you have to download that. And once you have it downloaded, uh, all you gotta do is come to Quick Setup. Um, EDID management and information and troubleshooting are both pretty useful, um, but Quick Setup's really all you need to use. Um, and then once you have it open, you, see, you can see it's detecting these two uh, displays are connected to it. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to use only use two displays. And so it's detecting both of them. And by default, it wants to do 1920 by 1080 P. If you're doing 1920 by 1080, that's really convenient because the triple head seems to default to that um, even when you don't want it to. So uh, if you want to use that resolution, go ahead. If you don't, it's going to be a bit more of a hassle, but it's still possible. What you need to do is come here to uh, uh, select a display setting, and I'm going to come down to the one that I'm using right now, which is 720p, and make sure you get the hertz right, because if you don't, um, you run risk of, of damaging your projectors or displays. So I'm going to hit that, uh, and normally I'd hit apply here. My stuff's working right now, and I don't want another hour of fussing around with it, so I'm not going to hit apply, um, but uh, you get the idea. Um, and the next step normally would be to uh, come up here, shut down your computer, and uh, wh while it's shut down, come over and unplug the triple head to go, unplug the USB, um, wait five seconds for it to fully shut down, and then plug it back in again, but um, uh, once again, I don't want to fuss with this anymore, so I'm not going to do that. Um, the next step that you're going to need to know is you need to come in here and do uh, go to your displays. So I just did uh, command space bar to get um, uh, to get the search box, and so now we have the displays pulled up. Um, I don't want color. You can see the arrangement. You can see all the displays that I've connected. The first thing you need to do is make sure that mirror displays is not on. Every time uh, you play with these triple head to goes, uh, the Mac just really wants to have mirror displays on. First thing, you got to make sure that mirrors display, mirror displays is turned off. Second, um, you need to gather all your windows and you'll find your triple head to go over here. Um, the next thing that you need to do is uh, make sure it's set to scaled, not default for display. Because once again, like I said, it always tries to set it to 1920 by 1080. Um, and if you're not doing that, then... oh, And then odds are, if you're using a triple head to go, you're using something like twice 1920 by 1080 or double a standard resolution. So... Uh, you need to make sure it's set to scaled. And then what you need to do is really not intuitive. You need to uh, come down here, hold uh, Alt while you click. Now, this is going to be a challenge for me because I'm out of hands. Um, but you hold Alt and you click. And there now you see all of the possible resolutions are there, including the one that should have been set by... PowerDesk, um, and if it's not, you need to make sure that it's set by PowerDesk. For example, 
if I had come in here and messed around and accidentally hit uh, 1280 by 720, that's not the resolution that a triple head to go is going to operate at because it's going to have multiple monitors. I need to make sure it's set to the correct resolution. So 1280 by 720 times two is going to be 2560 by 720. And that's the resolution that I want. So I come in here, I make sure that's set properly. Um, and basically you just need to do the steps that I've just told you over and over again because the triple head really doesn't seem to like doing things on the first time around. Um, it's very repetitive. It's a lot of restarting your computer, a lot of restarting the triple head, um, but just be persistent because it is possible with the Mac. Um, so let's assume that you've now done this on both triple head to goes um, and uh, and now you should see now you should see the uh, two connected to your system. You're not going to be able to use PowerDesk uh, because it's only going to see one triple head to go at a time. Um, so that's why you need to make sure to uh, set up one triple head to go using the technique I just described. Come over to the other one, or unplug, unplug it, completely unplug that one. Come over to the other one, set it up, uh, power them both down, wait a couple seconds, uh, power them both on, then power the, the Mac on. And now you should have all the, all the displays that you're looking for. Uh, you should be able to use um, any software that works with them. Or, um, or just use it as extra monitors. So while it is a hassle, while it is not officially supported by Maxon, uh, or Matrox, excuse me, um, it is still doable. So I hope this helped you out.